Hi guys, it's me Eunice and I'm back with another fun but very informative and interesting video. Uh, before we start, please like this video because it really means a lot to us, okay? Thank you guys so much. Today, I brought something very special. So guys, looking here, now we have Park Bo Young and we have Cheetah. Guess how old they are? They are both 27 years old. Jayanti and Taeyeon, they are both 28 years old. And we have GD. I love you, GD. We have GD and we have Yu Byungjae and they're same, 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 same age. And they are 29 years old. And we have Wonbin and we have Sai and they're both 40 years old. So what did you guys think? I mean, they're the same age, but why do they look so different? It all is because of aging. And it is so important to start anti-aging. If you don't do, or if you do anti-aging, you can look 10 years younger, or you can look 10 years older. So if you're curious about the process and changes that is happening currently to your skin, then stay tuned in because we have very, very informative things for you today, okay? And we will be introducing three must know items that is not able to stop aging, but that will definitely help to delay and slow down aging for us. To understand the process of aging, first you need to understand the structure of the skin. And yes, it's very, very complicating. However, it's so interesting and it's very informative. So once you get to know what it is, then it'll be a piece of cake. So please give us your undivided attention. While the skin is comprised of many layers, we can divide them into epidermis and dermis. Epidermis. The epidermis contains skin cells, melanin, protein, and other functions to protect the skin and maintain moisture level. Dermis. Blood vessels, nerves, hair follicles, sebaceous glands, and other important apparatus are present delivers nutrients to the epidermis and functions to maintain the skin's health and elasticity. The dermis determines the skin's aging. The dermis makes up 90% of the skin and is 20 to 40 times the thickness of the epidermis. It's largely comprised of hyaluronic acid, collagen, elastin, which are brought together by strong tissue that doesn't easily get damaged by external stress. So, it plays an important role in the elasticity and moisture levels of the skin. But as we get older, various factors lead to deterioration of collagen and elastin within our dermis. As they deteriorate, it loses elasticity, causing the formation of wrinkles and other signs of aging. All this happens as early as when you're 18 years old, or later on it can happen when you're 25. Then what factors cause aging in our skin? The cause of aging is partly divided into two huge parts, into extrinsic aging and intrinsic aging. Intrinsic aging occurs regardless of external factors. Once you're over 25, the rate of exterioration of collagen becomes faster than the rate that it is produced. The amount of collagen that is produced in the teens is said to be 100, and in your mid-20s, it is said to be 70, and in your 40s, it is said to be 35, which makes aging faster as you get older. In addition, the natural EGP that is present in your body starts to reduce starting in your mid-20s, making the production of hyaluronic acid, elastin, fibronectin, collagen, and other components responsible for the radiance and elasticity of the skin slower. Second, extrinsic aging starts with UV rays or cigarettes and other environmental factors. UV rays damage the skin's uh, collagen elastin, causing our skin to start sagging. Prolonged exposure of the sun rays really cause you know, signs of aging, and wrinkles appear much faster. Long-term exposure to UVB rays can cause burn damage to epidermis and even dermis, causing pigmentation or coloration two, threes after. UVA rays penetrate into the dermis and not only damage skin stem cells, EGF, but also the skin's collagen, elastin, and fibronectin. So 30 minutes after the exposure, immediate pigmentation and damage of the dermal cells and components lead to aging. 
Let me introduce you to three items that will protect your skin from external stress, repair damage as a result of aging, and regenerate. So the first product, as you guys are all excited, is Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. And this repairs UVA damage deep in your dermis to fight aging. So it is really great for the elasticity of your skin and also for wrinkle care. So this quickly absorbs into the dermis that is lacking collagen, replenishes its store of collagen, and also helps to produce collagen. It's very effective uh, in helping with the fine lines and wrinkles on your face, especially that is formed in your 20s. It has two different types of peptides, which allows it to be very effective for the wrinkles in your 30s and 40s also. So the first component is EGF, and this really helps on the outer surface of your skin. It's really effective for those wrinkles that has been formed um, in the mid-20s or in your 20s up to your 30s. It really helps with skin regeneration. So EGF is naturally present in your body, but after, you know, in your mid-20s, it, it starts deteriorating really, really rapidly. Replenishing the skin's EGF with skincare regulates the skin's turnover cycle to not only make skin regeneration much faster and strengthen the skin's outer barrier, it also makes the skin plump and quickly improves skin's fine lines. The second component is called BFGF, and this works deep, deep within your skin until the dermis layer. It not only cares for skin damage that has been caused by UVA rays, promotes the production of collagen, hyaluronic acid, fibronectin, and other bodily components that were diminished by UVA damage, and improves the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It also improves moisture level and radiance levels of the skin and has a great effect on the deep wrinkles that start form uh, in your mid-30s and so on. The third component is called guazuline, and I love, love, love this ingredient. It really helps to um, strengthen the skin's protective barrier. It also helps to calm heat irritation that has been caused by UV damage. And also, it really is great for regenerating the skin. Plus, there are other great ingredients such as blueberry extracts, which is an excellent ingredient for anti-aging, adenosine, which is really helpful to improve wrinkles and fine lines. This product itself is formulated with high concentrate of EGF, and it can give visible results in two to three weeks if you use it daily. For those in your 20s to 30s, on clean, fully prepped skin, apply the blue drop to the forehead, under the eyes, and smile lines using your hands. Apply an extra drop to the under eye area with dark circles and creases, smile lines, and other areas of concern. All right, so the next one is Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream, and this will help to recover epidermis that has been damaged by the UVB rays. So during this time, we get sunburns a lot because it's getting really hot and we're going to the beaches a lot. However, if you don't care for your skin right now, then your damaged epidermis can't perform its function to protect our skin, making the skin more acne prone and promoting faster aging. This also contains guajuline and centella asiatica, those ingredients which are great to restore and regenerate your skin. And this is really wonderful to put on after a slight sunburn because it helps to cool the heat that has been caused by the UV damage. And surprisingly, this also ingredient is in burn ointments. So after you get a slight burn, I think this is really the go-to cream that you really want to reach for. And also, guazuline, it's been proven by clinical trials that it is great for eczema and sunburns. Centella asiatica extract is also an ingredient that is found in Bade Kasur, which is a really, really famous ointment in Korea that we put on right after we get a little cut or a little scar. It promotes cell growth and it really helps to, how should I say, heal our skin rapidly. Decrease in the ceramide between the stratum corneum causes the stratum corneum to float, which easily causes loss of moisture, resulting in the collapse of skin barrier. So this contains ceramide, which moisturizes the skin to prevent damage and help to strengthen the skin's protective barrier. Its cooling properties, once you put it on, quickly helps to calm and soothe your irritated, heated skin. 
At your evening skincare routine, after apply a small amount with a thick layer to areas in need. So this is a third item. This is a sunblock that protects both UVA and UVB rays and even heat. It's Claire's Midday Blue Sun Lotion. It really helps to lower the temperature of the skin, really targeting the direct causes of aging. It's formulated with mild plant-based ingredients. And this also contains guajuline, which we've mentioned many times, and that is in the blue cream also to really help to soothe and calm irritated skin fast. And this is SPF 40 and PA++, which makes it perfect for daily use. And it has a tonal property, so once you put it on, it gives you a slight tone brighter. Its hydrating formula also works as a makeup base, so I like putting it on as like my makeup primer. It really evens out the texture of my skin and promotes better application. And you can really feel that it helps to last the makeup a little bit longer. After applying cream, apply a generous amount to the whole face, behind the ears and the neck. Apply at least 15 minutes before UV exposure. Reapply every two hours or as needed. When doing outdoor activities, for more active UV protection. Thank you guys so much for tuning in until the very end. I hope that this was very, very helpful for every single one of you. Please leave it on the comments below if you have any questions or if you want to know more details of the products. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Wish Trend TV. Thank you and I will see you next time. Bye! Have a wonderful day.